Hello, my name is Andrei Bayarov. Uh, I am from Rolos company and uh, today I will, my speech uh, will be about our brand analytics application and about machine learning, machine intelligence systems uh, for fast adaptive brand logos uh, recognition in the sports uh, that lies under the hood of this application. A um, couple words about me. Uh, I am a lead of machine learning video analytics team in Rolos. I have more than eight years of uh, experience, uh, both industrial and academic, uh, in machine learning, computer vision, uh, data science, robotics. Uh, I've developed uh, machine learning models in one of the biggest internet companies in uh, Eastern Europe. Uh, I have a PhD with a specialization in machine learning, precisely in optimization for future learning, and have a number of uh, scientific uh, publications and patents. So let's start um, our talk. Uh, in SIT roles, we are both making machine learning based applications for sport industry and developing uh, Rolos computational platform and infrastructure uh, where all these projects are researched, uh, developed and hosted. Uh, we are developing uh, our Rolos platform for researchers, for universities, scientists, uh, labs and uh, re research sensors. Our application uh, team uh, make an R&D uh, solutions based on machine learning and machine intelligence for the, for the various types, uh, various kinds of uh, sports like racing, football, uh, hockey, basketball, sailing, and so on. And we are collaborating uh, with the many famous teams, uh, sport teams, li uh, like you can see uh, on the slide. Uh, at Rolos, we facilitate uh, facilitate uh, research productivity, uh, simplifying uh, data processes so that users can focus on research. This next generation R&D solution supports scientists and developers in all fields from data analysis uh, and industrial research to early exper experimentation and product development. Our application team has several successful uh, solutions for uh, various types of sports like brand analytics uh, for football, racing, fighting, sailing, and so on. Uh, video indexing, uh, which is using for racing and football, uh, team radio for uh, motorsport and uh, sailing. Football analytics uh, for, for football, uh, race analytics for uh, Formula E and Formula One, and and uh, application for the telemetry analytics for the motorsport. Uh, but uh, today I will focus on our brand analytics application, uh, how it works, and what is machine learning models lies uh, inside it. Uh, so, uh, we create uh, our brand analytics application uh, to help marketers and managers to better understand of the effect effectiveness of uh, advertising campaigns uh, during various sports events. Uh, to do this, uh, we are analyzing the effectiveness of brand's logo uh, of brand's logos landing uh, from the input videos, which can be uh, full videos uh, from the entire broadcast from TV. It could be highlights, promo video, press conferences, etc. It could be uh, live stream broadcasts uh, or uh, content from the social media. Uh, to do this, we are using our uh, machine learning models to detect and re uh, and uh, recognize uh, hundreds of uh, brands, and uh, then we outputting for our users uh, brand value amount and several graphical reports, uh, by which users uh, can estimate the effectiveness of uh, advertising campaign. 
uh, two key metrics of our reports are brand impact score BIS, and brand value which are developed by our team uh, BIS is a proprietary metric that's uh, that depends on uh, such features like size position uh, quality um, and competition uh, of each detected brand logo on the each frame of the input video uh, brand value metric uh, uses this value exposure time of the each brand and advertising cost and length to estimate how much money accumulated this uh, advertising campaign for the particular brand. Uh, user can either uh, type uh, by himself advertising cost and length, or we can down download it from our database. Uh, we have two main types of the graphical reports that are created uh, on the basis of the results of the outputs of uh, our machine learning models for brands recognition. First of them is uh, heat maps <clears throat> that uh, de that's, that uh, de demonstrates uh, screen locations that were occupied by the, by the brand. So by heat maps, a uh, user can uh, estimate uh, frequency uh, of places that was well, on the screen that was um, occupied by the certain brand. Uh, second graphical report uh, is the timelines that pro that uh, provide the summary of the exact time of the brand's uh, presence inside the broadcast and compare the results with other brands. Uh, so the heart of our application is uh, machine learning models. Uh, so let's uh, dive deeper and uh, let's speak about uh, these models uh, that are used to calculate all these uh, values and reports. So uh, we are using two main uh, types of machine learning models to process two different uh, data modalities. Uh, first of them is the brand recognition model uh, that are using to detect and recognize uh, of each considering brand on each frame uh, of the, uh, in the input video. The output of uh, this kind of model is bounding boxes uh, by which we can estimate uh, many useful uh, fe features that uh, are using in the, our metrics and graphical reports. Uh, the second model is uh, uh, event detection models. Uh, model that can uh, localize starting and ending timings of events uh, uh, that's specific for each kind of sport. Uh, so there are specific events for basketball, for football, for ice hockey, and so on. And uh, our model can uh, localize this events for each of these uh, kind of sport. Uh, events detection model allows uh, to understand context of what is happening on, on, this, uh, on the screen and uh, combining this knowledge with the output of uh, brand recognition uh, models where we combine these type of modalities uh, allows us to achieve more accurate uh, analysis of the whole video uh, from the point of view of uh, brands uh, uh, landing. So uh, let's start from the brand recognition model. Uh, you can see uh, on the screen uh, the uh, demo of uh, brand recognition model uh, trained for the PFL uh, data, Professional Fighting League. Uh, this model uh, outputs bounding boxes for the three uh, brands. Uh, three is a number just for the demo purposes. In the real world application, it can be dozens or hundreds. Uh, based on the, uh, on the uh, output of bounded boxes, uh, application uh, is calculating exposure time and the area that uh, occupied the each brand. This uh, data is using uh, for the key metrics uh, for the key metrics uh, calculation. 
so what is this model uh, brand recognition? We have researched two types of brand recognition machine learning pipelines. First of them uh, is a closed set approach. Uh, it is a, cl is a classical object detection approach this, uh, that is adapted for the brand recognition task. To train this type of model, uh, the user uh, has to choose brand, uh, brands that he wants to recognize uh, manually annotate uh, about 100 frames per brand and train the model. We, uh, we are using model um, pre-trained pre on the common brands in the while, so this is why uh, we need uh, only about uh, 100 frames, uh, but it's still a large amount of data that user uh, have to uh, um, annotate manually. Uh, at the model, we are using a deep learning de uh, detection model from the YOLO family. This is one stage detectors with, with some uh, custom modifications. Uh, this approach allows to achieve a very good accuracy score. Uh, but if the user uh, want to add new brands, uh, which is a very often situation in the real world, uh, then uh, he needs to uh, again uh, uh, re repeat all this uh, procedure. He needs to choose brands to annotate about 100 frames per brand uh, added to the data set and, re re uh, and retrain the, the whole model. This is a very time consuming uh, procedure. Uh, so, uh, this is why uh, we uh, research our second approach. Uh, the open set approach. Uh, it consists of two modules, uh, localizer and classifier. Localizer is, is, binary, uh, is, is a binary detection model, also from the YOLO family, uh, that trained in a such a way to generate a lot of proposal regions uh, on the frame where brand's logo can be located. Uh, then uh, the the classifier model, uh, which is the convolutional neural network, uh, takes the the input uh, these crops of uh, proposed regions from the localizer, and make a decision about is there uh, any brand which it can recognize, or there can be no no brand. Uh, the main feature of the classifier model is that it's trained as a fusion learning model. Uh, this means that uh, this model can uh, fast adapt to new brands uh, for new classes. And if the user wants to add a new brand, he only needs to uh, manually annotate uh, more or less um, number of um, images, about uh, 15 uh, 20 uh, images uh, for the brand, and just add it to the, to the data set. Uh, there is no need to retrain the model. Uh, the classifier will automatically adapt it for this new brand. Uh, so this approach is significantly uh, faster in adding new brands while having a comparable performance as the closed set. So this is why we uh, choose uh, this approach as uh, our main approach for the brand recognition. We have uh, compared our brand recognition model with uh, several main vendors in the field. And uh, in this slide, you can see a comparison with the uh, one from the, uh, from the Amazon uh, recognition service, which is the one that is the best of the, of the field. Uh, for this experiment, we used a uh, data set with the PFL data our own uh, data set but we train uh, our model from scratch so the the conditions of the experiments was was equal and uh, as you can see from the slide uh, you can see for for example at the, at the main f1 score metric uh, high is better and uh, you can see that we outperformed uh, on the test set uh, with the same people uh, data the amazon which is good achievement for, for us. Uh, let's consider our second model, event detection model. 
Uh, this model can localize time stamps when uh, several events, uh, specific events for the sports uh, occurs. On this demo video, you can see uh, example of work of the event detection model for the ice hockey. Uh, so this model, event detection model, is based on slow, fast 3D convolutional uh, neural, neural network architecture. Uh, this network takes uh, a video clip with two second duration as an input and um, then process it, uh, processes it uh, with the two branches. Uh, slow branch or slow pathway operates on frames with a high resolution uh, and low fr frame rate. It allows to catch a special uh, semantic. So it allows to, uh, un to understand um, uh, who is acting on these videos, person or, or objects. Uh, then uh, second, the fast branch of the network operates uh, on frames uh, in opposite side, operates with the, uh, on frames with low resolution and high frame rates, which allows to catch uh, motion uh, dynamic uh, in the input video clip. So uh, this uh, fast branch uh, answer the question uh, who is operating, who is acting uh, on the input video clip. <clears throat> And the outputs of these two, br two branches are combined uh, by the final layers uh, to make a final prediction about the input video clip. Uh, on the right side of the slide, you can see a precise ar um, architecture of slow fast uh, network. Uh, it, as I said, it consists of uh, 3D convolutional uh, layers with uh, pooling layers, with uh, fully connected layers. So in this table, you can see um, uh, precise uh, parameters of filters of all these layers. <coughs> uh, using of brands uh, uh, recognition and <coughs> even detection uh, machine learning models allows us to compute for each brand uh, such features as size of the logo on the video frame, the position uh, of the logo uh, relative to the predicted uh, center of uh, attention, uh, the quality uh, which is uh, represent clarity of the logo and uh, its visible area, uh, the competition which, is, uh, which uh, compares the area of the brand uh, with competitors uh, and uh, exposure time uh, of uh, each brand in the input video. Then uh, all these features uh, utilize to calculate brand impact score and brand value that's uh, reported for the user. So uh, this was a brief description of our brand recognition application uh, from roles and uh, machine learning models that lies uh, under the hood of it. Uh, if you want to participate in the developing of uh, machine uh, intelligence application for sport and in building machine learning platform, uh, please use links, uh, links on the slide uh, we are hiring. So that's all. Thank you for your attention and I'm ready to answer your questions.